Why is the emotion guilt worse than rage? Okay, so, <clears throat> um, yeah, this is, this is a really, really interesting one because we've been taught kind of like from society that it's the other way around. And so let's look at the child parent paradigm because it's one that everyone can relate to. We either have children or we've been a child. So it's the easiest one to um, explain. And really, that's where we learned emotions, right? Is through how well or poorly our family dealt with emotions. And really it's perpetuated in our lives unless we've done the work. So, and this again, this is something we go quite deep into in our programs, but first of all, in terms of your emotional intelligence, the first thing you have to do is understand the whole scale of emotions. And there's 22 emotions. There's more, there's 22 in the scale. Um, and at the lowest, uh, vibration is depression and guilt, okay? Uh, and then you, the, the theory is, it's not a theory, it's a universal truth, but the theory goes <coughs> that in order for you to feel those higher vibration emotions, like let's say I'm in guilt, I actually need to move up incrementally. Now, they, I might move up so quickly that I'm barely even touching on them, but I need to move up them. A lot of people want to have these like, you know, like this incredible spiritual experience where they can go from like um, guilt to joy like that. And I'm not saying you can't have these like moments of satori, these like instant enlightenment moments, but more often than not, um, we don't. Um, it's a lot more sustainable to learn how to move up the emotional scale because you're learning a skill, a life skill that's going to help you forever. So you need to move up these emotions to get to the higher um, vibrating emotions. So you might be interested to know that guilt is down here and rage is actually a couple up from there. But we've been taught that guilt um, is, is, is actually better subliminally, not like explicitly, implicitly. And the way we've been taught that is, for example, let's say a child has deep pain. I'll just use a, um, an arbitrary example. Let's say their parents got divorced. They don't understand that. They don't have the cognition to understand what happened or whether it was their fault or any of that. They don't have the ability to do that yet. So they will, with their limited cognitive ability, come to their own conclusions of maybe it's my fault. It's my fault. Okay, so they're in this very low vibration of guilt. And they, they, they will instinctively, okay, because instinctively we will move up the emotional scale. Um, so they instinctively start moving up and then they're like, Oh, I don't need to feel guilty. Again, subconsciously, you might not be like articulating this. Um, I'm angry, actually. Like, what the fuck? Like, I'm angry that my parents aren't together and their parents are together. So now I'm gonna start expressing my anger out. Now, an unconscious parent would have seen their child depressed, may have not even noticed, and this is the saddest part, may have not even noticed that their child was depressed. Completely unaware. They think their child is normal, they haven't tapped in with their child, they're not meeting the child where they are, they're busy in their own world, and all of a sudden they have this raging child in front of them. What do they do? Scold the shit out of them. This behavior is awful, you can't do that. Oh, I'm embarrassed at the shopping center. Like, you know, what do we do? Is it like, don't yell, don't hit, don't, okay, you're right, you shouldn't yell and you shouldn't bite and you shouldn't pinch. By the way, Aaliyah did all these, fun for me. Um, she shouldn't do these things, but what's the alternative? Your child is communicating something to you. Your child is expressing pain. They're feeling a pain and they're expressing it, so we need to make it okay. But as unconscious parents, parents who don't understand emotions and don't have a level of emotional intelligence themselves and insight, will scold that behavior. So what have we just done to that child? We have pushed them back down the emotional scale. You do that enough, 
what do we have? A depressed adult. We have most adults completely suppress their emotions. Emotions for a long time were seen as an impediment to success because it, they were seen as something to, that were getting in the way of things, which is true. If you don't have control of your emotions, it, will, it can ruin your life. It 100% can, but you can control your emotions. You can build your emotional intelligence. It can be the key to your success.